in this video we will see how to play the english opening c3 now here black have a variety of options which is c5 e5 which is the reverse sicilian and black can also go knight to f6 or even e6 to transpose this into the queen's gambit now let's look at them one by one here the most common reply by black is either c5 or e5 Let's look at c5. In this variation, black tries to copy you. Let's say you go knight c3, black go knight c6. Both sides fiend shadow their bishop. Knight f3, knight f6. View castle, black also castle. And here, what you are going to do is you play d4. And now, black is forced to respond. He can play d5, but it's not that of a good move. So here most players just take, and here you recapture with the knight. Black takes, and then you take back with the queen. And here, you have a great control in the center, and your bishops are also very much active as compared to black's bishops. Here, black have some kind of a discovered attack, but it's not much of a threat. So let's say black goes d6. You can move your queen back, and after. Black goes say a six. Then you can play rook to d1, activating your rook. Let's say black goes bishop f5, attacking your queen. You can play queen to f3. Black defends, and then you can go for c5. He cannot take because his queen will be hanging. So d5. And here you can play something say bishop g5. Let's say black goes e6, defending this pawn. Here you can move your queen and trade off this dark square bishop. Which will weaken the black scheme, or you can even play on the queen side. White has a much better position here and have a great attacking chances. And here, instead of going knight to f3, you can also go with the Bodvinic system, which is e4. Here, say black goes knight to f6. You play d3. Let's say black castle. Then you can bring your knight to the e2 square. And after that, you can play s3 and then put this bishop here and make a battery with your queen and trade out this tough square bishop and then castle on either side of the board and continue playing. Now let's see black's most popular response, which is e5. This is the reverse Sicilian. And here you can either go with c3 or even knight to c3. The problem with knight to c3 is that black can go bishop to b4 to trade off this bishop for this knight and damage your pawn structure and put all his pawns on the dark square so that your bishop becomes less active. But you can simply avoid this either by playing knight to d5 so the bishop is forced to move back or even in the opening you can go with g3. So after black goes say knight f6, you can put this bishop on g2 square, knight c6. You go knight c3 and then say black goes bishop to b4 to trade off this knight. Then you can just play knight d5. Say black takes, which is the most common move. Then you can recapture. And here black can move his knight to some of these squares. If knight to d5, then you can pay e3. Here if he goes to b5, then queen to a4 will win one of these pieces. And it is the same when he goes knight to f5. Queen to g4 also win one of the minor pieces. Therefore here, he have to play knight to e7. Then you can play knight f3, attacking this pawn. Let's say black takes your pawn. Then you can play queen to b3, putting pressure on these pieces. Black goes say e4, counter attacking your knight. Then you can play knight to b4. And here, white defense. After that, you can take this pawn. And after black castle, you can also castle and continue playing. And here, black also have one more option, which is bishop to c5. In this variation, you can go e3, blocking up this bishop and making it less active. After that, say black castle. Then you can bring your knight to this e2 square. Let's say black goes rook to e8. Then you can castle here, and black goes say d6. Then you can move this pawn, put this bishop on this b2 square to attack along the king's side. Then here, 
you can also play d4 so after that say black takes you can recapture and you have a very good attacking position you can push this pawn forward to attack this knight but it will block your bishop therefore you can also go bishop to g5 to pin this knight to the queen now let me show you some other variations which are possible to be played as black here black can also respond with d5 after that you can just take here and after black recaptures you can play knight to c3 developing your knight let's say black goes queen d6 you can play knight f3 knight f6 and then go d4 let's say black goes bishop f5 then your idea is the same to play g3 and king c and shatter this bishop and then castle on the king's side and continue playing and here white can also transpose this into the dutch defense as well after that you can just develop your knight black also develops you go the same g3 as usual here save black goes with the leningrad dutch which is g6 then you can fianchar to your bishop black also does the same and now you go e3 to put this knight here and your bishop will control the central square let's say black castle you play knight g2 d6 to open up his bishop and then you can just castle here black goes knight with e7 and then you go d4 and here black can strike in the center then you can just play b3 put this bishop on b2 and then continue playing well if you want to learn more chess openings then you can check out this left tail list and if you want to learn some chess traps then you can check out this right playlist and if you don't want to miss more of these videos then don't forget to subscribe